Mm. Why knows where I know My baby mama trip, she been going through my phone. Tired of me cheating, I can't leave these hoes alone. Hella pics, hella tips on my cash out. Cash out. Like, Ooh, man, what up though, y'all? D, I get it. To some of y'all, it's okay to waste your time. To some of y'all, it's okay to get people to prepare for things that you know you're not going to see through. For some mm -hmm. of y'all, it's okay to go mm -hmm. sit next to somebody you know busy and try to get them to believe that you're going to take an effort to attempt to do something and make them take minutes out they day to assist you. Like, dig this here. Realistically, out of a 24-hour day, I'm working 19 of them hours. Will I take a break to eat? Yup. I'll take a break for some pussy. I'll take a break for my kids. But I'm not taking a break for anything other than them three things right there. And I'm not going to take a lot of breaks for those things, except for my kids. With that being said, somebody wasting my time is paramount. I'm already utilizing every minute of every day. And if I waste a minute doing anything that you know you're not going to do your part on, I take that as a direct defense. You know what I'm saying? That even goes with dating. If you want me to miss making money to spend time with you on top of spending money to spend time with you and you can't offer me or help me get any money or help me secure any money or I look at you and you're a liability, you're a bill, you're a dependent, your credit score is bad, your car is old, your children's father is, is missing. Like, be realistic. It don't matter how much I like you. Without you being cooperative or a part of what I have going on, you're a liability, a dangerous liability at that. Facts. And the fact of the matter is, let's say I make $25 an hour and I could work Saturday night and make, what's it, $25, $40 an hour. And I say, forget working Saturday night and I miss that 45 an hour by 10 hours, that's $450, right? And then I go out with you and I spend $300, right? So now that's $750 gone and I can't borrow $20 from you we're not fucking, you're not supportive, you're not helping with anything I got going on. And then I'm supposed to do this another three or four or five times to build a relationship with you. Like realistically, if a man did that by the time he gets into being in a relationship with you, he's gonna have financial trouble. And you're not gonna give a fuck. And that's why I can't get involved in that. And it's not just the time of waste while dating. It's wasting time in any way. People come to me all the time. Why well, no, I see you got motion. I got this going on. I'll be like, come on, I got you. And then it's like, how you ain't got time for your dreams? How you ain't got time for your opportunity? It's nothing for me to blow somebody up. How you ain't got time for it? Or how you coming to me to promote yourself or what you're doing to me before you prepare yourself to actually do it? There's nothing wrong with being full of shit. But it is something wrong with you bringing me that full of shit bad. It is something wrong with you expecting me to care more about you and your dreams than you care about yourself. It is something wrong with you expecting me to, to give you a certain degree of respect that you didn't give yourself. It's something wrong for you wanting me to value your time when you didn't value your time. It's a, it's a problem when you want me to appreciate the fact that you're a parent when you didn't appreciate what it was going to take to be a parent. It was just some shit you did. You know what I'm saying? And I have a problem with people putting standards on their dealings with me that they never put on themselves. You want me to treat you respectfully, but you've been disrespecting yourself. You've been disrespecting your kids. That's why their father's missing. Because relationship was good before y'all had kids so that meant every little bit of him being a piece of shit was attractive to you but now you got the kids you get the government assistance he gotta pay so now you can get 60 percent of what it costs to be a mother from him 
another 40 percent from the government and then whatever you make for yourself you can keep to yourself you can get a lot of help from your family and then you can turn around and find some simp ass nigga to follow all the rules that your baby daddy wouldn't and now you're getting 130 percent on the dime i guess it wouldn't be a bad hustle that's how i mean that's how i see it being work it's just i can't be that nigga baby I can't even do it. I can't give you more respect than you gave yourself. And to some of these niggas out here, I can't give y'all more opportunity than you gave yourself. If I open the door for you, or I extend my platform to you, or if I extend my money to you, my investment to you, my connections, my whatever it is that you need to get over that hump, and you can't do your part, then really, fuck you. I'm to the point now where it's like, and this isn't about nobody specifically, but I'm to the point of me getting to this point, I pretty much had to do my damn self. So, and didn't nobody care about helping me, not helping me, didn't nobody care about getting in my way, making shit harder for me or none of that shit. And I didn't hate them for that. So when I take it out the kindness of my heart or my moral code to make sure I don't treat nobody like that, but then they don't even appreciate the opportunity, then it is what it is. No different than some of these women that be wanting to date me, they want to be my woman, but it's like, baby, you ain't qualified to stand in the number one position. But you can come pick some cameras up, you can come suck some dick, and, and yeah, you can get some shit taken care of. You might get treated real well, but you are in no way, shape, form, or fashion position to stand as my partner. That'll fuck up my empire. You done been nutted in by losers for the past 20, 30 years. Like what, what, I mean, it, and that, that don't matter how much I like somebody. And this is where things get cold at. This is where people don't want to really hear about how a man thinks. Like, but let's just kick the Willy Bobos. With some of these people that want to be partnered up with me and business wise, if I stood next to you and took you in a room with me, people would think I was tripping because they've been watching you be full of shit. They've been watching you do the least amount of work for yourself your whole life and it's the same thing with some of these women that want to be dated you got two and three kids already on top of however many aborts you didn't had on top of however many sexual partners you didn't had on top of you giving your tax refund away and all of these things and on top of all of that you got all of these all of this baggage of what you ain't gonna do for me because of what you did for all of them losers and I respect that, but I can't deal with that. That's your fault, your problem. You want me to pay somebody else's bill or pay, you know what I'm saying, without me getting the service. I can't do that. I can't do that at all. And that's pretty much straight across the board with everybody. It is what it is. It's a cold ass world out this bitch. And you motherfuckers the one that's been controlling the thermostat. So don't cry to me about needing a blanket in this cold ass world that you felt it was so cool to be so cold in because I'm, i can tell you i can tell you i can tell you sure as shit everybody that looked past me to do business with this person or to build with that person <laughs> relationship wise the women that be hollering at me now that had the opportunity to be my number one when it would have made value for us. The shit that they doing now. Now motherfuckers had a whole lot to say about, say to me about why whatever it was we came together to do didn't work. But I'll just tell you this. Everything I came to the table to do is getting done. And everything most people came to the table and said they was trying to do is not. And that's because they wasn't doing what they had to do to do what they was trying to do before me. And you may be able to relate to this. Don't let nobody make you feel like you the reason that they can't do what the fuck they're supposed to do. Because let me tell you, everybody tried to stop me. Everybody tried to hurt me. Everybody tried to do all kind of bullshit. But ain't none of them motherfuckers stop what I was doing because I, I was going to keep going. In a very simple term. So when motherfuckers sitting there telling you how somebody stopped them from what they was trying to do, you gotta know they full of shit. You gotta start smelling it. Like somebody could slow you down, somebody could hinder you, somebody could affect you. They could do a whole lot of things, but to just all out stop you? Nope. And you still got air in your lungs? Nope. Nope. 
Anyways, I guess we'll call that a chat from the chair. You know what I'm saying? And you ain't got to be full of shit your whole life. We out. Mm-hmm.